everyone. Welcome to Sensible Home Studio, the place for decorating ideas for your home and celebration. My name is Gretchen and I'm celebrating St. Patrick's Day. After missing for a while due to illness, I'm back much better. If you've been following me, you know I visited Ireland last fall. Be sure to subscribe and watch the videos of my castle stays. Today, I'm going to share some of my Dublin City tour and a little about St. Patrick and Arthur Guinness, two well-known contributors to the celebration of this day. Since around the 9th or 10th century, people in Ireland have been observing the Roman Catholic Feast Day of St. Patrick on March the 17th anniversary of his death. He's credited with bringing Christianity to Ireland. St. Patrick used a shamrock, now the national emblem of Ireland, to explain the concept of the Holy Trinity. I noticed it throughout the city, including in hundreds of the light posts. In Ireland, there's still an important religious and cultural component to the holiday, even as it has simply become an excuse to wear green and heavily drink in the rest of the world. The holiday will also be celebrated with numerous parades and food attributed to this holiday. Here's a few I found in the message he left us. As we travel through this life, may the wisdom of God instruct us, may the hand of God protect us, and may the word of God direct us. I prepared this tablescape with layered simplicity, so let's take a look and I'll share a little about Arthur Guinness in a moment. I started with a green tablecloth layered with the white one on top. I've created my centerpieces with Pilsner glasses. These are usually used for beer, so I thought it was appropriate for today, although we will not be consuming any. I glued them on top of candlesticks and turned it into a beautiful tall vase. I placed a topiary ball on top. They reminded me of the clover. You could also use candles instead. I nestled the taller one in a small greenery wreath and placed the shorter two on either side. I've added black chargers, white square plates with a green rim salad plate on top, one of my vintage finds. With the utensils of the glasses added, we are ready for our meal. Luckily, Guinness makes more than beer, so we'll be having their delicious decadent chocolate cake with tea for dessert. It's so moist and it's non alcohol. This brings me to Arthur Guinness, founder of one of the most successful alcohol brands worldwide. His personal motto was, My hope is in God. He was a devout Christian who loved Jesus and shared his care for the weak and poor and taught his family to do the same. His love led him to help those who were addicted to strong drinks like whiskey and gin which were being used as an alternative to drinking disease-infested, unfiltered water at that time. His low-in-alcohol beer was a healthier and safer alternative. He was greatly influenced by John Wesley and lived Wesley's message, earn all you can, save all you can, give all you can. Your wealth is evidence of a calling from God, so use your abundance for the good of mankind. God indeed gave him great wealth, and he was faithful to honor God and love others with what he had received. He was a great philanthropist for Ireland, and his brewery in Ireland is the city's most visited tourist attraction, sharing both the history and process that makes it Ireland's most famous export. And I'd like to leave this blessing with you from Psalms 128. Bless are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. I hope you use some of the ideas that I've shared today. I have another castle tour to share, so remember to like, share this video, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Happy St. Patrick's Day.